Near the Poltava Battle Museum, there, is, uh, three there are three locations which was uh, attraction to tourists. <clears throat> to the right side, there is a small monument with inscription in uh, Swedish, Russian, Ukrainian language. Uh, there is a inscription dedicated to the victims of this battle. Yeah. And uh, if you can uh, follow up this uh, alley, yeah, this one. Approximately after, uh, after one kilometer, there is uh, uh, the rest of redoubts. But you know, 300 years passed away, and you can find here only some this small monument, <laughs> some small ravine, uh, and some small hill. So if you have free time and good weather, you can come here, but don't expect to find here something special. Regarding this mount, um, uh, it was erected by the order of Peter I, Russian Tsar, in uh, 1705. Uh, it's mass grave, yeah, dedicated to the, all the died, killed soldiers, yeah. And uh, staircases of uh, 39 granite steps lead to the top of this mount. Near the mount, uh, there is uh, some stone church which was built up in uh, 1856. Uh, to regret, in uh, 1929, uh, Russian, uh, Russian Soviet communists they closed this church, they destroyed the tower, and lately church turned out into a house, and uh, it did a lot of damages to the inside icons, paintings, and so on and so on. In only in our days, this church process some small renovation.